Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra problem? Given that AB equals 12 and A plus B multiplied by A squared plus B squared equals 35. So let's solve this problem step by step. So I will start with solutions. Let's say I recall from the second equation, which is a squared plus b squared. Here, when we compare this with what we have a squared plus b squared, this gives us a plus b squared minus 2ab. Then, Let's let, suppose I let a plus b to be equals x and I let a b equals p but a b here is given as 12. So therefore, we are going to replace it so that we have Instead of a plus b in second equations, we change it to x multiplied by the square root of, we have a squared plus b squared in bracket, which gives us a plus b squared. And since a plus b gives x, so we have this as x squared, then minus 2 times a b, that is 12, equals 35. Then we have x square root of x squared minus 2 times 12 that gives us 24 equals 35 and next we are going to take the square of both sides by squaring both sides we have this also squared so x we take squared that is x squared multiplied by so the square and square root we cancelled after taking the square of this we have this as x squared minus 24 then equals 35 squared that gives us 1 2 2 5 and when we open this bracket we have x raised to the power 4 minus 24 x squared equals 1 2 2 5 and next we have to solve this one by finding the value of x but here we have quartic so which means we are getting four solutions but let's try and break this thing down suppose i let <coughs> x squared to be equals x and the first one here becomes x squared minus 24 s so taking minus 1, 2, 2, 5 equals 0. And next, we solve this quadratically as we are going to have the value of x, x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac. And there gives us minus into bracket of minus 24 plus or minus the square root of minus 24 all raised to the power of 2 minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by minus 1225 all divided by 2 times 1 and next we have x equals 24 plus or minus a square root of so the whole of this expression so we have minus 24 squared minus it gives us 24 squared then here also gives us plus so with this we have 4 multiplied by 1 2 2 5 all divided by 2 and next by evaluating all this in bracket we have x equals 24 plus or minus everything gives us 74 divided by 2 then we are going to consider 
both positive and uh, negative to get the value of x. So here we have x equals 24 plus or minus 74 divided by 2. So therefore, our x1 gives us 24 plus 72 divided by 2. Then we have x1 equals 24 plus 72. That gives us, uh, we have 74, that is 98 divided by 2. So here we have 49. And also, when we consider the x2, so this gives us 24 minus 74 divided by 2. And here we have minus 25. And let's consider the first one. We note that we let, initially we let our x squared to be equals x. So by considering the first x1, so we are going to have x1, which is 49. This gives us x squared equals 49. And by finding the value of s, we have it as plus or minus 7. Then let's consider the value of 7. So we are not going to take this because x squared is positive. So we cancel this. Then let's solve this one for when we have 7 and when we have minus 7. So note that initially we have a plus b. This equals uh, the first one that is 7 and uh, we are going to have AB equals 12. So we solve this one simultaneously. We are going to have for equation 1. So here we have to make B the subject that is 7 minus A. And by substituting the value of this into equation 2, we are going to have a into bracket of 7 minus A equals 12. Then we have minus A squared plus 7A minus 12 equals 0. Next we have to rearrange this. As we multiply 2 by minus, we have A squared minus 7A plus 12 equals 0. And we solve this one quadratically we have a equals 4 comma 3 and also so as b b becomes 3 comma 4 so this way we consider plus 7 and we consider negative 7 as well we're going to have minus 4 comma minus 3 and also we have minus 3 comma minus 4 so these are the value of a and B and we put it in an coordinate forms so we have a comma B so equals 4 comma 3 or we have it as 3 comma 4 then we also have it in this form thanks for watching and see you in the next video never stop learning bye bye